Previously on Exploring the Local Life, I took you on a tour of the 2020 Airstream Atlas TB Class B, and wasn't that sweet? Well, today on Exploring the Local Life, I'm Jessica, and I'm taking you on a tour of the 2020 Tab S and the Tab CSS. These are those awesome little teardrops that you see all over the place, so let's take the tour. So the Tab BS that I toured actually had an extra package on it. It was called the Boondock Light. So this one is specifically geared towards you being kind of off the road. So you have some extra, let me read it so I don't get it wrong. You have a heavy duty pitched axle. You have an off road, you have off road tires and a diamond plated LP tub. So this will all protect those things that you hold near and dear as you're going into these kind of off site locations because sometimes these roads are rough and you need something a little bit extra to make that boondocking adventure extra awesome. Oh my goodness. Um, so you've got your so seating area that also converts into a bed. You've got plenty of storage on the inside considering the fact that it's such a small, it's only about 15 feet long. <clears throat> storage, storage back there, storage. <clears throat> Some storage. Look at that. Also, you have a wet dry bath, which I always find kind of dreamy. I think it's a really effective, <laughs> practical use of that tiny space. I think they're really fabulous. This is a cute little window. This is so adorable. <clears throat> Now, as you can see with the Tab S, this model has the kitchen inside your little teardrop. Tab. Oh. oh. Cute little sink. Storage. Storage. Fridge. Fridge. Look at that. Porch light, ceiling light. Oh, can put some more stuff up there. I love this little thing. It's adorable. Now with the Tab CSS, this one is one of those models that has the kitchen on in the outside. All right, this one is kind of the one these cute little tabs with the dining slash bedroom area. Oh, look at that. You see that? Charger ports. Storage. Always good. A little TV. Look at the little air conditioning thing. Big fan in the ceiling here. Fortune ceiling lights. Storage for books and things. And this one has a lot of storage here. So you can put all your clothes in there. You've got a nice counter here, or you can use it as a workstation. I guess you can put decorative stuff up there. Entertainment system. Wet dry bath, which are my favorites. I love them. Hello. And now the real reason that I'm looking at this is because of the little outdoor kitchen. Let's go check it out. Got entertainment out here too, speakers, nice countertop, storage. <laughs> Look at the little fridge, it's so cute. Mm -hmm. Two burner stove, 
and your stink. And it's all, nothing's gonna melt, which is nice. More storage. Oh, ooh, look at all that. You got some storage slash all your hot and cold water. You've got your kitchen outside so that way you don't have to worry about it getting too hot you don't have to worry you know about just like not having a lot of elbow room you know you're right outside with your little kitchen um i like the fact that you have the little cover because you know if weather conditions are not great and you're still hungry you may have to go out there and um, deal with it but you have that covering so if it's drizzling or if it's super sunny you can have some shelter there the difference between the tab cs s and the tab cs is that the tab cs dash s has a wet dry bath which for me i think it's really important if i'm going to get a little camper i want a bath even if it's a wet dry bath both of these units are 15 feet long have 11 gallons of fresh water capacity 19 gallons for your gray and eight gallons for your black it's not bad really if you consider what you've got okay um this is great for weekenders of course or if you're just really great at coming up with ways of conserving water, you know, the black tanks don't really fill up that quickly. And you know, it's geared for two people. So just use your water carefully. And you know this about us. And when we are dry camping, you know, we usually forgo the shower if it's very, very hot. Like we might do like a super, like take our water separately and just take care of the most important areas and then call that um, a shower. So. You know, you just gotta do what you gotta do for yourself and your RV lifestyle. They both come with a solar prep, both teardrops, and they're both super ultra cute. I think you have everything that you really need to live your life every day. I mean, it's a tiny space, but it's definitely very usable. It's configured well. It's a very effective use of space. And then, you know, with these two models, I like the fact that one has the kitchen inside, the other one has the kitchen outside with that additional storage. So it just depends on what your RV style looks like something i did want to point out for the um, tab cs-s that was not a boondocking light it did not have the special boondocking package that doesn't mean that you can't go off-road with it. it doesn't mean you can't do all those stuff but it's not going to have the upgraded packaging that the tab s had the tab s did come in at around thirty thousand dollars so you know our rv which is much larger fits a family of four if we had additional staying we could accommodate them as well um but you know there's different quality levels there. Um, so you just have to consider what's most important to you. We wanted a small, inexpensive RV that fit our family, and that's exactly what we got. So just think about that. It's good to see a lot of different units and really figure out what's most important to you. And then go for it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this gave you some information on at least two of the tabs and maybe encourage you to go out there and seek out a dealer and check them out for yourself. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. You can check us out on Patreon. Give us a tip for providing you with all this free content and information that's making your RV dreams reality or attainable. <laughs> Thanks and we will catch you next time. Bye.